places where being a Christian means torture, months of solitary confinement, the agony of brainwashing. This is the experience of Christianity for thousands of people around the world, and it's happening today. Pastor Hua Hoichi knows persecution well. He was recently arrested again. His family's been harassed by the Chinese authorities constantly, and even his own mother was released from prison just a little while ago. Miriam and Marzea, two young Christian women who are being held in Avon prison in Iran right now because of their faith. This is Lydia Digal and her five-year-old son, Ovid. In 2008, Lydia's husband, who's a pastor, was murdered by radical Hindus. In Pakistan, 20-year-old Sandal Bibi and her father, Gulshar Masai, have been imprisoned on charges of blasphemy for their bold witness in Christ. This is what's left of the Fushan Church in Shanxi province of China. That was until a mob of 400, including Chinese officials, barged in during worship and assaulted the believers that were gathered there. 20 police officers burst in on a worship service in this church in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. They arrested seven members and confiscated all of the Christian literature. If all this weren't enough, in 2008 alone, more than 150,000 people died for their faith in Christ. Meeting together in basements, in the woods, sometimes daring to preach on a street corner, these faithful souls counted the cost and persisted in their Christian witness, knowing full well the outcome of their actions. So are Christians still persecuted today? The answer for two-thirds of the world's population is yes. The question is, what are the rest of us going to do about it?